got snow underneath our feet And I got you right here with me We can do all the things that make it Christmas time Hi friends! Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. In today's video, I am actually going to be making homemade eggnog. Yes, homemade eggnog. If you remember last year, I made homemade glue vine or mulled wine and it was absolutely delicious. And so this year, I kind of want to stick with the same theme of making my own kind of holiday boozy beverage. So we're going to try our hand at eggnog. Um, a little bit nervous. Tempering eggs and cooking eggs is a challenge, so I think we can do it. So let's get to cracking some eggs, because that is the key key ingredient, the main, um, what is the word, the showstopper, the main attraction of this beverage. So we are going to get six egg yolks, and this year I already shopped online so i just went to target and picked up my groceries which is so easy and it also helps to a lot with buying things that you don't need because that's my issue whenever i go to target i'm sure it's yours too but i just put everything in my cart on the app and then i check out and then i just go pick it up it's awesome so let's get to cracking some eggs i'll hang stockings by the fire to Peppermint came out the cupboard Up to the attic, a box full of lights So much more we've left to discover Ribbons all entangled in the garland Mistletoe and angels' wings Might be here for a little bit but darling, if it's with you, it's okay All right, now that I have all of my egg yolks cracked and separated, now I'm going to be whisking this together with some sugar to make it a more lighter yellow, fluffier color to kind of give the eggs a little bit of a whisk, I guess. I don't have a mixer, so I'm just going to be hand whisking this. So that's an adventure. I'm gonna do a heaping cup because I want it a little bit sweet. Whisk! All the elves are on vacation from the workshop. It's almost here. Oh, do you know what's got me feeling fine? Got my saucepan. And my little cupper. So we're gonna do three cups of milk. Alright, so my eggs are all nice and whipped and now I'm just waiting for my milk to finish getting warm. I don't want it to boil though, so we're getting, it's coming up nice and warm. So once this has come to maybe like 175 degrees, I'm not going to actually temp it, but if you wanted to, I'd say around 175 degrees, um, I'm going to slowly temper the egg. So just doing a little ladle full into my egg mixture and then bringing the, the eggs up to temperature. So that is the next step. Why like ringing bells and 
Alright, so now that my mixture is nice and thick, it honestly took about 10 minutes to get to this level of thickness and you can honestly keep on cooking it for however thick that you want it, but just remember that it's going to get thicker as it cools. So I think that this consistency is going to be perfect. And now we just have to let it cool down a little bit because now we are going to add the spices and then add the alcohol. And I don't want the alcohol to cook out, so I'm going to put this on an ice bath to speed up the cooling process and also fish out my little vanilla beans. I don't have like a strainer sieve, so I'm just going to scoop them out. One teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to do two teaspoons and one tablespoon of ginger powder. Next, we're going to do a cup and a half of heavy cream. Now for the fun part. We are going to do alcohol to taste. So I think I'm going to start off with a quarter cup of bourbon and then maybe I'll add a little bit of spice rum in there too. So we'll see how a quarter cup tastes and then we will add more if we need to. Fire tip, peppermint cane out the cover to the attic. That is so nice. So much more we've left. Maybe just a touch bit more spiced rum, I think. I don't want to get too carried away. Wow. That is really good. I think that was perfect. I did a quarter cup of bourbon and then I did like an eighth of a cup of spiced rum. It's delicious. Now I'm just going to pour in a container and put it in the fridge and then we can stir up a glass. Cheers, guys. Wow, that is so nice. It tastes so much more custardy than store bought. And it's kind of fun to have a little kick of bourbon and a little kick of rum. delicious. If you guys have never tried making your own eggnog at home, I definitely recommend giving it a try because it was a lot of fun and it was kind of cool seeing it come together. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. A lot less nerve-wracking. So definitely give it a try. It's definitely worth it. It puts you in the festive Christmas mood. 
But that is going to be everything for me today. I'm going to go sit and enjoy this by my Christmas tree. And if you guys want to see what I get to next during Vlogmas, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye, guys. We only get this once a year, and now it's here. And now for the fun part. We are going to do half a half Okay. Hey. I don't have anything for you. It feels like Christmas to me. Oh, that's so cute. One tablespoon plus two teaspoons of